thank you, Bart, for the introduction. Uh, yes, I will try in next minutes uh, present, let's say, my experiences uh, in the work of um, the Sava River Basin Commission, which I believe it's maybe the case of good practice how to organize the work in the area where it's not an, uh, let's say, easy situation. Uh, all of us are aware about the history, and uh, of course, I believe that this story, which will uh, be uh, on the screen in the minute, uh, will, will show some, let's say, uh, hope that it's possible, that it's possible to go further, to use water as a, let's say, vital source for living in shared river basin to overcome the conflicts and to look uh, to the future solutions. And this is story about, uh, let's say, Sava River Basin. Uh, this is, in short, what I would like to focus um, uh, in my presentation, uh, taking into account really just uh, my, let's say, perception about this development. Uh, but I would like here also mention that I try to contribute from the early beginning in this process, uh, from the drafting that this um, SAVA framework agreement and implementing uh, the, this agreement to uh, nowadays, and now I'm acting from this year, from July, or from, uh, yeah, July 1st as uh, acting president of the Sava River Basin Commission. What was so unique, or let's say so special in this story is that after the conflict which uh, happened in the Balkan area, you are all aware about this tragedy, um, the International Commission somehow support uh, the processes which brings uh, back to the, let's say, somehow dialogue uh, in the region. And one of these uh, challenges uh, was or were um, to speak about, um, let's say, transport, to re, uh, re, uh, revitalizing transport on the Sava River. Um, and the ministers for transport signed the agreement to revitalize navigation in Sava River Basin. And then the international community, be frankly speaking, about it's fair to mention Stability Pact and, of course, United uh, States of America and European Commission um, asked the countries to, to draft some sort of uh, agreement to, to, to start with this activity. I was there in this uh, group and then after negotiations we, we somehow uh, recognized and uh, it was not an easy task to say, okay, navigation is one of economic activities, but for that you need water, water and to manage with the water properly. And then they, I got, let's say, the work and task to, to somehow chair this, this group. And on the end, we find out to, that we first need the framework agreement for the river basin management and, of course, annex to that the protocol for the navigation. And this was, let's say, the start. Just to get an, uh, let's say, uh, geographical orientation where the Sava River Basin is, is uh, located in the, let's say, southern uh, part of the Danube uh, River Basin, and uh, um, what is the main characteristic of the Sava River Basin is that it's, of course, very, very rich with uh, water, uh, and that it's the, the, the most richest tributary to the Danube River. Why is this situation, uh, let's say, the fact? Due to the geographical conditions, wet, west winds prevailing in this area, and where it's the border between, let's say, west part uh, of the river basin is the Neric mountain range, and this is, the, of course, the, the barrier where it's the, 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 the top or the, the, the peak of the participation uh, in the Mediterranean western side goes down to the 
Adriatic River Basin and uh, Eastern to the Sava River Basin. That is the situation. Uh, just to mention about the natural and, let's say, main social uh, political characteristic of the river basin. What it's, uh, uh, let's say, about the figures, you can, you can uh, see uh, that uh, nearly uh, 100,000 square kilometers, um, uh, uh, the average uh, um, uh, flow uh, in the month of the river is uh, nearly 1,700 uh, uh, 1, cubic meters. Uh, and uh, nearly 1,000 kilometer long river and approximately 9 million inhabitants in the whole river basin. You can sh see the share of the river basin in each, uh, uh, let's say, country and the share of the territory. What is, what is let's say, uh, important is that only for just for the, for the, let's say, maybe impression that Montenegro, it's half of the territory in Sava River Basin, what it's, so for, let's say, uh, perception of the average population, uh, it's not very clear that it's such the fact uh, that this is so. But what it's even more important is that very important, rich, uh, let's say, water sources are coming from, uh, from Montenegro to the Sava River Basin uh, too, and mentioning just famous River Tara with all biodiversity and uh, ecosystem services is one of the very, very important uh, issues to keep in mind. Uh, sustainability and development is in the core of uh, framework agreement for the Sava River Basin. This is something what uh, 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 and where started uh, uh, the, the, the ministers or economic sector to start, uh, let's say, reintegration or dialogue in the region. You can see the, the, the Sava uh, uh, River near the Belgrade and the mount uh, of the Sava uh, uh, near the Danube. Uh, and uh, of course, uh, this is one of the important economic activities on the Sava River too. Then our other, of course, uh, ecosystem services coming downstream from Slovenia to Croatia and down to Bosnia and Serbia is that the Sava River is uh, very important or essential water, uh, uh, drinking water source of the capitals of, uh, in Slovenia, uh, for example, in Ljubljana, then in Zagreb and down to the Belgrade also the, the essential, uh, essential uh, let's say, uh, water supply uh, uh, source even for drinking water, taking into account all economic activities too. Mentioning also first and uh, uh, nuclear power plant on the border between uh, Slovenia and Croatia and all other, let's say, activities, high tech and, let's say, agriculture. Uh, let's say, uh, use of the river. Uh, so broad scope of the work is, let's say, reality. Outcomes of cooperation is, uh, let's say, first uh, Sava River Basin Management Plan, uh, thanks to European Commission, uh, uh, who invest uh, Largely in this project, uh, the, the, in the last uh, four years, the countries uh, cooperate quite uh, intensively in this, let's say, exercise. Uh, and now it's uh, the real thing. Uh, and uh, of course, uh, it was uh, the framework water directive and, uh, let's say, common objective to, to work or to, to focus on this, uh, on this uh, issue and to, to, of course, bring together um, national, let's say, uh, priorities and, of course, uh, measures which are important also in transboundary uh, dimension. Uh, here, 
just going to the picture, I would like to, to, to uh, draw your attention. Let's say these uh, waterfalls are in this, what I mentioned, the Neric uh, region. It's famous Plitvica Park uh, with this uh, karstic uh, water regime. Then this second slide, it's downstream of uh, Sava with huge, huge retention areas with very, very, let's say, integrated approach from early 70s to, to, to protect the retention areas for high waters, for floods, and to minimize impacts downstream. It was official concept how to deal with the uh, high waters in the Sava River Basin. What was not, unfortunately, the case, for example, in Rhine River Basin, it's just opposite. Um, here is still enough space for water in the river basin, and it's in the context of transboundary water or flood management in the future. And this very upstream of Sava in Slovenian, let's say, part of the Sava river basin. Uh, how to bring sectors uh, into this story and um, it's here just one, uh, let's say, uh, uh, case uh, how to bring them uh, into the into the uh, different uh, exercises, taking into account uh, activity as uh, a river basin management plan, water and climate adaptation, integrated information system, navigation and tourism. You can see that there are some gaps, uh, of course, uh, but in principle, the way is uh, the, the the work is in progress, and uh, we are trying to, 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 to uh, fulfill the gaps in the next, uh, let's say, cycle. Uh, I started with this story about ministers who signed the agreement to re-establish navigation, and here is, uh, let's say, the case, uh, navigation and development on the, the Sava River Basin is, uh, let's say, more and more attractive also for the, the for the tourist uh, let's say uh, business or uh, economic activities and here is uh, uh, some sort of integration uh, of the sectors how to to take into account also water conditions climate change sediment transport and to use uh, these facts for the planning the economic activities on the let's say shared river stretch and shared corridor taking into account the vision as a green corridor for the future future uh, let's say sustainable uh, or green economy uh, to enhance quality of life along the shared river. Uh, this is something what is really important. Uh, this is not just uh, words or, uh, let's say, uh, thinking or uh, good wishes, but here is also behind very serious work uh, uh, taking into account cooperation with International Commission for Protection Danube River here. Um, uh, just nearby um, in um, uh, his headquarter. Uh, and uh, Sava River Basin Commission, uh, uh, the result of this cooperation is development of inland navigation and environmental protection in the Danube River Basin. The guidelines how uh, to integrate two approaches uh, and how to use those uh, uh, those uh, uh, guidelines for a sustainable solution for international navigation in Sava River Basin and, uh, uh, and sustainable navigation in Danube River Basin. This is now uh, somehow implemented also in the national, national uh, uh, legislation in uh, Croatia, uh, Serbia, and uh, Bosnian part uh, of Sava River Basin, Slovenia is not, navi uh, is not navigable, but uh, it's of course this more downstream, uh, let's say, uh, business and of course activity. Uh, how to integrate sex sectors in this story, it's also quite a huge step forward in these dialogues. It's sustainable river tourism catalog, how to bring other, let's say, users uh, also, let's say, uh, 
local, produ local food production and uh, let's say also small tributaries to the river, how to, how to attract this, uh, let's say, small catchments into the story uh, using the, let's say, intermodality on the local level, cycling, uh, tours, uh, boat trip, uh, um, and of course railway as much as possible and how to combine those uh, small local infrastructure with, let's say, main river and to, to make um, somehow a sustainable uh, business for local communities using the uh, river stretch as, uh, let's say, green infrastructure. Uh, how to integrate sectors bottom-up approach is must and it's not of course just uh, uh, word uh, it you have to act on that it's of course nice to have nice uh, nice uh, uh, words ahead and parolas but on the end you have to go on the ground and to work with the local communities then it's another story and then the mostly problems start um, and this is the way how to come closer to the to the problem and to so, and solution too. And this is the work where we we, we focused in last two years mostly uh, to really to really go down to the to the region and to the local communities and to get uh, feedback from their let's say uh, perspective, their needs and their uh, their, their uh, perspective. How to integrate sectors? It was mentioned uh, hydropower and agriculture. Yes, it's significant impact. Uh, there's still another, let's say, projects and another visions of the sectors. And this is first the national, let's say, fight or national reality. And then, of course, you have to bring this to the table on the International River Commission uh, and to discuss how to go forward, what is significant, what it's, uh, what it's maybe somehow uh, possible under uh, special conditions. And using in this procedure, of course, uh, environmental impact as, uh, assessment is, of course, uh, uh, must. And uh, this is where we would like to really involve this uh, Sava River Basin Commission Forum uh, uh, as much as possible for uh, in, in the phase uh, in, uh, early in the, uh, each developing of each idea as early as possible. Uh, this integration of sectors is easy to say, uh, but uh, in practice is, of course, hard and very tough job, as you know, from your, your uh, experiences. Uh, we do have some uh, also international projects. Sava Nexus assessment with UNECE is just, let's say, um, uh, finished. Uh, uh, and uh, we can compare it with the Danube Water Nexus, with, which is uh, uh, prepared with EC and GRSI. Uh, and we can compare what are the strong or weak points of both of them. So we believe that in discussion we can maybe uh, go down to these details, uh, modeling and uh, garbage in, garbage out, uh, let's say, effects and the reality on the, the, the uh, ground. And all these facts are, of course, um, here now in front of us to discuss, to, 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 to go forward in the next, uh, let's say, phase of uh, planning and acting. Fl flat management uh, needs, uh, yeah, May this year was catastrophe for Davan, uh, downstream uh, countries, starting with Croatia, Bosnia, and, uh, and uh, Serbia, catastrophe uh, of the downstream um, in Sava uh, and tributaries, uh, which was, uh, it was co influence of the huge, uh, uh, let's say, historical wave of uh, high waters from the Neric uh, part, and um, um, Sava starting downstream from, let's say, down from Zagreb, not from Slovenia. This was the, the concentration of, uh, let's say, those uh, very high rainfalls uh, in very short time. 
more than 300 millimeters, I believe, in Bosnia in uh, two days. It was really a very uh, disaster, and uh, this is uh, uh, in this, uh, let's say, downstream situation. Uh, what is good is that uh, immediately after that, uh, um, uh, SAVA Commission proposed two years ago to the, the World Bank and uh, the, the, uh, uh, the project uh, for the flood forecasting and warning system, and in, in this floods helps to approve this, uh, this, let's say, project. Uh, and now it's on the way uh, of implementing. And this flood forecast and warning system is uh, really now uh, in the focus how to enhance the, 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 the uh, let's say, cooperation among the countries. Um, projects uh, are uh, somehow uh, uh, no one, and uh, they are somehow adopted in the uh, uh, conference of the parties. Uh, adopted is the strategy, and uh, for the Sava River Basin till 2015. And this is, of course, very much connected with the goals and, uh, of the EU water framework directives, uh, uh, habitat directive, birds, floods, and inspire directive, us, uh, and also for. Uh, with, the, with the navigation activities too. Um, this is just to have an impression about how is financing, uh, the financing management for those projects. Thanks God, the management is quite uh, good and most of the sources for the, uh, these international studies are coming from, let's say, outside. It, it's not uh, financed just by the countries. And commitment of the countries is uh, regular work of the Sava River Basin Commission, more and more with the stakeholder, business communities, and local communities. And this is just a few pictures from the last meetings. Uh, um, and conclusions, yeah, we are going ahead with this transboundary cooperation. We believe that it's a lesson learned which is good in this European macro-regional strategy, taking into account Danube strategy, Sava is the only sub-regional catchment. And this makes, let's say, uh, in theory, uh, very huge opportunity and challenge for the Sava countries to get uh, uh, support for transboundary projects, let's say, for integrated flood management and other issues. In theory, I said. In practice, it's another st story. But anyway, it's a good start. Now we have to convince our governments. Uh, it's not enough Sava River Basin Commission. The governments have to recognize those priorities to go forward for the implementation. And uh, this is one lesson learned. And um, what we would like, uh, we would like to, uh, to share this cooperation with the Permanent Secretariat, Secretariat also for the management with the third, uh, uh, let's say, macro-regional strategy. This is Adriatic Ionian and to merge, I mentioned many times, the NERIC, the NERIC mountain range, the NERIC ecosystem, to use this uh, the NERIC as a link between Sava River Basin and Adriatic as a common, let's say, underground water body, huge and with diverse, uh, with very high biodiversity too, and to manage two, let's say, water bodies, coastal and marine waters on the western side for the, let's say, sustainable future in Sava and uh, uh, Adriatic Union ecoregion. Thank you.